If what Vincent said about those shadow souls popping up all around multiple village... If that's true... If that's true, then Phoenix Drop might be... No! Levin! Malachi! Dante! Everyone! I could be in serious trouble. Uh, can't you go faster, horse? Oh, we're here! Oh my gosh, we're here. Uh, the gate's still intact, too. Uh, hello? Hello, is anyone there? Hello? Uh, oh my gosh, Alexis, you're safe. Alexis, it's me, Afmau. Alexis. Uh, Afmau, what are you doing outside the gates this late at night? We weren't expecting you back for a few days. Hold on one second, I'll let you in. Uh, okay. Oh, thank Irene, they're safe. I mean, at least she's perfectly fine. Maybe the Shadow Souls haven't popped up around Phoenix Trap just yet. Ugh. Oh, let me get my horse one second. Uh, Alexis. Uh, uh. Afmau, where is everyone else? Are you okay? Oh my gosh, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, I need to know though, is everyone here? Is everyone here okay? I I yes, everyone here is perfectly fine. We had an issue with some demons outside of the gate earlier, but... We made quick work of them. Thank goodness the wall were here, or we might have been overwhelmed by them. Wait, demons? What did they look like? The, they were... They were scary. They had yellow glowing eyes and were made of a darkness that emitted a feeling so... Unnatural. Even though they never made it past the wall, they... Alexis, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I need to speak with Levin and Malachi. Absolutely. They're at their place having a meeting about the whole ordeal right now, with Dante. I'm sure they'll be glad to see you. I'll escort you there. Kyle is on lookout up on the wall, so I have a few minutes to spare to do so. Okay. Alrighty. Um, yeah, let's head there, and uh, I guess Kyle's up there too. Oh, that's right, he's good, he's right there. Um, alright, let's go. Oh, we're here. Um, here we are. I don't believe you needed me to escort you back here. However, after what happened today, I just feel safe doing this for everyone. I'll see you later, Lady Afmau. Oh, here. Take this to tie up your steed. Take care. Uh, thank you. Uh, very much, Alexis. Oh, where did my steed go? There you are. Come here, you. Come on. Let's go. Alright, um, let's see, if I could just find a place to put my horse, right here probably, there we go, you stay safe, okay? Uh, Dante, hey, Afel, are, are you okay? I'm perfectly fine, Dante, what I want to know is, are you okay? Uh, I'm perfectly fine, Afmau, M my apologies, it, it's just... I'm shocked to see you return to late at night. Where are Lawrence and the others? <laughs> I, um... They're in Metelli, but... I came alone after we were attacked there. Uh, attacked? From what it sounds like, the same things that attacked you guys earlier here attacked us there as well. You mean, those demonic creatures? They attacked you as well? Afmau, do you know what is going on? Levin, Malachi, and I just got done with a meeting where we discussed what we thought those things were. We managed to find and destroy their source, thankfully, but there might be more around. Um, if you destroy the source, you're fine, but Dante, those things are called Shadow Souls, and they're from- they're the first things that come out of the Nether, apparently. They're also- they're like the souls of Shadow Knights who don't have a physical form. The... the nether portal has been opened? Those things are the first to appear before Shadow Knights. Th this is worse. Much worse than I thought. Who... who could do such a thing? Afmel, could it be Zane? Uh... I... I don't know. 
I don't think so at all, because he's still in the Irene dimension with... Gareth. I... Uh, I see. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up Gareth. Um... Are you okay? <clears throat> sorry. Gareth was like a brother to me. A brother I never got the chance to love like a brother. I miss him dearly. As dearly as I missed you. Listen. I know what seems to be a few days for you was really... 15 years for us. T try not to do anything to put your life in danger again. I know it's hard for you not to, but Aphmau, I can't be there to protect you anymore. I am Levin's guard now, and I know you never really let me go as your guard, but I feel a sense of responsibility for you. Just please be careful. Stay with Lawrence. He's the only one of your former guards who is truly there to protect you right now. Dante, I'm perfectly capable of protecting myself. I know, I know, but he holds your hands. You are my sister. Maybe in another situation, we could have been more. But you always have been like family to me when I lost mine. Just don't forget about me, okay? I won't. Good. Now please, I need to go see my wife and daughter. I know they're worried about me after today's events, and I just want to hold them right now. You should go see Levin and Malachi. Good day, my lady. <sighs> Take care, Dante. Good night. <sighs> Dante. At least I know that Dante and everyone is safe. <sighs> now to go see Levin and Malachi. <sighs> Malachi! Hey! Uh, mom? Mom! What are you doing here so late? It's such a long story, Malachi, but... Let me just explain the whole situation to you. Oh, what? The Nether? Shadow Souls? Wait, here. Look at this. Wait. Oh, that... That's... Zoe says it's Shale. We found it at the source spawn of where those Shadow Souls were. It seems it is being used as a substitute for Obsidian. We don't know how, but if someone found a way to do this, then what could they possibly hope to accomplish? The only thing they'll do by opening the Nether is releasing the Shadow Lord. Uh, Malachi, how did you guys manage to stop the Shadow Souls? We would have been wiped out completely if it wasn't for the wall you guys had rebuilt. We literally just finished fortifying the walls when suddenly something came out and attacked Logan. He transformed into his werewolf form and took care of the Shadow Souls immediately. But there were multiple coming from outside the walls. We retreated inside and shut the gate, which gave us a chance to pick off the Shadow Souls with arrows one by one. We got to a point where Dante Levin and I could go outside of the gate and find out where they were coming from while Lexus and Kyle held down the fort. We found the source and destroyed it. We brought the remains back here for Zoe to look at. Mom, I have to go and talk to Alexis and Kyle right now, but you'll find Levin upstairs if you wanted to talk to him. Zoe's asleep in her room downstairs, so I wouldn't bother her, but... Levin might still be awake, if you catch him soon. I need to be off now. I'm sorry this is so sudden. Be safe outside, Mom. Alright, Malachi. Um, you too. Just be careful, okay? <sighs> Levin? Levin! Oh. He's sleeping. <laughs> it looks like he's having a hard time sleeping. Oh. Oh. What about... I'm gonna play his mother's music box. I've always liked the lullaby that plays from that box. Uh... Eleven. He seems to be at ease. I'm glad. He's grown up so much. 
I remember when he was a baby in his... Uh, that song always makes me sleepy, too. sleep next to Levin's bed. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, it was hard not to. Wait, did did someone put me here? Uh, oh, uh, Alexis. Good morning, Afma. I hope you slept well. Um, <laughs> sorry. I guess I fell asleep here without thinking. I was just riding all night on that horse. <laughs> Levin and Malachi noticed. Malachi came back from our small meeting last night and found you sleeping on the floor. He put you in his bed and slept on the couch. Eleven was happy to see you as well. They didn't want to wake you up this morning since they figured you needed your sleep from riding your horse back last night. Anyway, I made you breakfast. Come downstairs when you're ready. Okay, um, thank you. <laughs> uh, I best be getting up. Aw. Oh bed's so comfortable still. <laughs> Alright, last time I played that music box. Huh. Okay. Um. <laughs> they still have their... Never. Oh. Anyway. Alexis said she made breakfast. I'm tired of rainbow curry anyway. Uh, how long have I had this thing? This is like... Ugh. Anyway. Hey! Um. Hi! It's not much, but it's the best I can do. I don't really get to do housework very often, so, well, I hope you like the eggs, even if I burnt them a little. <laughs> Alexis, I'm positive they're great, even if they looked a little... They're fine, they're fine. <laughs> well, th thank you. I hope I can learn to cook better. I'd like to make better food for the guy I like. What? What?! Oh, girl, you need to spill the beans now. Beans? Oh, no. Did I spill something while I was cooking? <laughs> oh, you're too cute. Um, <laughs> it's an expression. It's an expression, Lexus. An expression. Yeah, it's, um, it's basically like when someone wants you to tell all, like, you know, like, I want to know who you like is what I'm trying to ask you, I guess. Oh, Oh no, I can't possibly- No, no, forget I said anything about that! <laughs> well, okay, alright. <sighs> well, if you ever want to talk about it, I'm always open and always, you know, willing to lend a friendly ear. Okay, yes! I want someone to talk to about this. So, so I don't want to tell you who I like, but, well, he's obviously someone in town. He's handsome and thoughtful and, oh, my heart is going to explode thinking about him. She's blushing bright red. <laughs> well, the first step is actually talking to him. Um, have you talked to him? Uh, I do! I, I, I talk to him. That's the thing. I talk to him every day. But when I talk to him on a regular basis, I put my feelings aside so I can do my guard duties. It's only when I have a moment to myself that I start thinking all lovey-dovey about him. H have you ever felt this way about someone? I if so, how do you deal with it? Oh. Um. <laughs> um. Y you should tell me when you find the answer. If you find it before I do. <laughs> My heart is... Ah! Well, well... Can I come talk to you when I need advice? I, um, maybe that will help me build up the courage to tell you who I like. And then maybe, then maybe I can take a step forward and tell him. <laughs> of course you can come talk to me anytime, Alexis. I'm always willing to talk to you about anything. <laughs> Th thank you. N now I have to clean this mess before Levin and Malachi see what a wreck I made their kitchen. Zoe is downstairs, but has requested some time alone to study the whole shale thing the guys brought back. 
I know the guys are outside the gates looking for more portals, if you want to meet up with them. Be safe. Alright, I will. Um, yeah, <laughs> I will definitely take these burnt fried eggs, and <laughs> thank you, Alexis. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, um, let's see. Let's go here. <laughs> uh, okay, if they're outside- wait. If they're outside the gates, I- I need to go find them. I need to get out there and make sure that they're okay. Uh, wait. Oh! Someone fed my horse! Okay, I won't bother you. I won't bother you at all. It's fine. You keep eating and doing what you gotta do. Uh, oh. Wait, what's going on over here? Wait, Donna? Hey! I have to say, I was wary of that man the children call Mr. at first, but he's been such a kind help. He even helped me carry my laundry here when he saw I was struggling with it on the way from our house. Also, he's a major hunk, and I can't even see his face! What? Hey! Don't look at me like that! Yes, I'm married to Logan, but that doesn't mean I can't admire another man's beauty from afar and describing it as hot. Logan is hot, too. Calm down. <laughs> okay, Donna. <laughs> Wait, if you're here, that means... <gasps> Wait, where's everyone else? Have you and the others made it back? What? I have no idea. I didn't even know you were here. I left Matelli when those fiends attacked. Well, you, you abandoned us? I wanted to come back here to make sure Nekoet and her mother were alright, as well as the other little ones here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you're okay as well. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. I... I appreciate knowing that you came to check on them. It means a lot to me. Oh, sorry. Mister came back. He's been here all this morning and we decided to have a tea party with him. But I don't think he likes tea, so Nekoet got him lots of apples. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean by lots of apples. <laughs> um, this guy is so cool. He's all mysterious. I wish he would tell us his name. Well, that would take the mystery out of it now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Mister is so cool. He's big and strong. I want to be like him when I grow up. <laughs> you guys are too adorable. I love you all. You're just so cute. Donna, stay away. Stay back. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Uh, now that I know everyone's okay here, I'm gonna go make sure. I'm gonna go join up with Dante, Levin, and Malachi. I don't want them to face those things alone. Especially after what Vincent told me. <sighs> Kyle! <sighs> Kyle, hey! I'm looking to... Afmal. Looking to head outside? <sighs> yes, I need to... Sorry, I was just like, bolted here. <sighs> I need to find the patrol that went out. Alright, I'll open the gate for you. Be safe out there. Hopefully, you can meet up with Levin, Malachi, and Dante quick. <sighs> Thank you so much, Kyle. I appreciate it. Um, alright. Oh, I feel bad for leaving the others back in Matelli, but... I think I'm gonna wait one day for them to come here. If not, then I'll head to Matelli to find them. I better get my sword out. I... <sighs> I just don't want to head back and end up missing them, if they're already headed back here, that is. For now, I'm going to see if I can catch up with Dante, Levin, and Malachi. I need to know more about these Shadow Souls, and I also need to keep a diligent lookout for them. Wait, what's going on over there? <gasps> There's more of them there! What the- Jeez, ah! these things are fast! Ah! And There's another one right there, and there's a- Oh no. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Shh. What? What happened? It's a female husky. The light has left her body. Uh. uh. Upon further inspection, you find a collar that reads Luna, 
owner, Nathan. <gasps> Was that your mommy? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Look. It's burnt, but... I mean... Maybe you'll like it? Come here. It's okay. Oh, You're so sweet. <laughs> you want to come home with me? <laughs> Alright. Follow me. Come this way. I'll take you back to Phoenix Drop and get you some warm food and a nice bed to sleep in, okay? I'll also do something to bury your mom, okay? Come on. Come on. Let's go.